Hey guys, and welcome back to another edition of Pro Hire Truck TV. We're today going to come back to a, a piece of equipment that we looked at some months ago um, as a pre uh, launch model, which is the Maxxis um, T90 pickup, um, full EV, and still one of the, the, the world's first fully electric production vehicles as a, as a pickup. Now, it's not a 4x4, as we said, um, but what we've, what we, we, we've decided to do is, is, is take this from Challenge Commercials, our, our supplier of, of Max's product, um, and run it for, for a week or so to get some real world range around WLTP and obviously where we can take it, try a little bit of off-roading. I'm still looking for that big puddle to drive it through yet, uh, but uh, I'm still struggling with that as a, as a, as a, as a as a, as a as somewhere to drown it, but um, we'll see how we go on with that. And of course, we're out today. Uh, today's in, in, in Stoke, and for the background, we see Stoke's training centre uh, for our high quality footballers in, in, who, who watch our, our, our channel. But look, I mean, what I wanted to try and do really was give everyone a real feel for what this looks like. We've got, this has just arrived, we've got um, some on order for customers at the moment, and just give you a feel for what this whole piece of equipment is around. Exciting thing for me is I love EV. This is a great big vehicle, um, 88 kilowatt power pack, lots of power there, WLTP of 220 miles. So I want to try and report back what this is really giving um, from, a, from a real world perspective. Now look, again it says it can tow 1500 kilos, um, that's including the payload on the back of the vehicle. So of course it's, uh, it's going to be depending on how much you, uh, you actually want to carry as well. Let's give this a run round and over the next few days we'll be able to bring to you hopefully how agile it is, how fuel efficient it is and, and where we can take it and where we can't. And of course remember it's not a four wheel drive, the four wheel drive version of this comes out a bit later on this year, early part of next year and again we'll see how that w works out but of course that has got full towing capacity and the, the, they're talking about you know three, three tons or so so well, let's see what that looks like as we, as we come to, uh, towards, that, towards that time but right now this is what we have to, to look at, this is what I have to showcase, let's have a look. So, here we go, let's get belted up and have a look at this, uh, this machine. It's different to the one, obviously the pre-production model, it seems to be much more finished off. Um, great screen, touch screen, all of the kind of things you expect to see in a modern vehicle and, and of course most, most electric vehicles now have a, have a decent um, a screen to work with. You know, we just put the key in. I think which is still reminiscent of, 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 of most of this, the Maxxis product. You know, it's very, it's very like the, the big van, which is great, and, and certainly some of the, um, the, the, the stuff that's been, you can see how it's been shared across, across the platforms. But we, we, run, we run a fair bit of, um, of Maxxis product now, and, and certainly from an EV perspective, we do a, you know, we're doing a decent job. I think it's, um, you know, supply chain challenges are with every, every, every manufacturer, but certainly, um, you know, working with the guys to try to find solutions for, for, for most aspects of this. That being said, we've got a, a product here which you know I think is in, in fairness, if someone's looking for an electric pickup, you know, this is probably the only one you'd be able to buy. Um, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to relook at it. Um, you know, we, as I said before in the, in, the, in the outro, we looked at um, this as a pre production model, and I want to try and give a real honest opinion over, over a few days to see where, where this lands. Um, as we said, we've got a number on order to, to with, with customers at the moment, and, and we'll have a few of these on fleet. But we, we're currently running you know, quite a, quite a, a number of electric vehicles now on, on Pro Green, and we're gathering data um, on all of all of these vehicles as we go forward on a day-to-day -day basis. But yeah, so in the vehicle, keys on, automatic gearbox. We're going to go into drive. Uh, I want to play the radio, obviously, um, while we're talking. But Apple Play, um, etc., which will give you your your connections to the outside world in, 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 and your social media, etc. Electric electric wing mirrors. You know, for me, the, the wipers are on the wrong side, but I guess that's for others to judge. Um, but yeah, really nice, really light power steering, three setting modes, eco drive and power. Um, but again, you know, from 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 my perspective, you know, I think it's going to be hard enough to get 220 miles of range out of this particular vehicle. Never mind. Um, stick it into some kind of really quick mode. So we're going to take it for a, for a, for a nice little run round, and, and, and like I said, over the next few days, we're going to we're going to see actually how far we can drive this vehicle for, and actually how many miles we'll we'll end up getting from it, which I think is really useful. And bear in mind, we'll have no weight in it. You know, payload is a ton, 
Um, so when we put a ton in this, it's going to have an impact on 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 the on the on the real world range as well. But we'll uh, we'll just uh, see how we go on, and um, we'll report back shortly. So we've been out now for a couple of days. This is the end of day two, um, and realistically, I didn't want to bore you with min hours of, of of driving through you know country lanes. We're out to the country today, and what I wanted to try and do was 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 take it in a river, uh, which is what I promised to do on on the last video. Working around us today, this this was promised to be flooded, um, and a little bit further back, I'd have been able to drive into it. Unfortunately, um, it's not deep enough today, and there was a bloke with a high vis coat that didn't like the idea of me running into his river. But I'm, I promise I'm going to take this through water because I'm probably going to drive in 18 inches, two feet of water. I'm going to try tomorrow, um, but we'll see how we go on. This is a fantastic drive, I have to say. Loads of power, really quiet. I, have to, I am really pleased with, 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 with the return on, on range. You know, it will cover the, the, the mileage we're doing. We'll see how we go on with day three. Um, but I have to say, really pleased. Overall, you know, you've got to say this is a great pickup. It's not four wheel drive. It's two wheel drive. If anything was to me, it probably sounds a lot of money, but you know, it's the only one of its type, um, or the, the, only, the, only, the only type we can buy electric pickups in the UK today. Really like it. Lots, of, lots to talk about. Lots of, lots more to do in the next uh, 24 hours or so. But uh, you know, for me, good thumbs up for this vehicle. Really, really like it. So I have to say, I mean, you, you've got to give credit where credit's due. This is a very, very nice ride. And I think, you know, certainly even from the earlier model that we looked at for that pre-production model, this drives much better. It's smoother, it's, 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 it's crisper, and it's, it, and, it's, and it's quick for a big vehicle. You know, it, it is very quick. I appreciate um, we haven't got a, a ton languishing in the back. However, it's, it's a pleasure to drive. I mean, you look around a lot of these pickups, in fairness, who have, a few have passed me today. You know, most of them are carrying a great deal. You know, this is well, well, well appointed. And, and in fairness, you know, you're looking at the back seats there, you've got plenty of room to use this as, as a, um, you know, a multi-purpose vehicle. You know, it really is. It's, it's, it's really smooth, really good. I've been driving a vehicle now for about an hour, and, and, and there's, you know, there's absolutely no, um, no issues with it at all, and it's and it's staying really high on on charge is really using the charge well so I've got high hopes that at least when it's empty we'll be able to return the WLTP that is suggested by the manufacturer so that, that's really good to know but 88 kilowatts you know reality says with an 88 kilowatt battery if it's driven as a as a car you know this vehicle on two-wheel drive should return three to three point five miles to the, to, to, the, to the kilowatt hour that in theory at 88 kilowatts, you know, it's 240, 250 miles. So why wouldn't you? My, um, and that's again against driving style. And, we're, and as we've managed to connect all of our electric vehicles now to our internal hive, we're starting to see ranges that are now pushing out. And we've got companies now that are working with their drivers to, to push even further than that. But you would, you would suggest that this vehicle is easily capable of three miles to the kilowatt hour, you know, three to 24, you know, it's it's 240 250 miles of usable range so um to have a, two, a, two, a 220 yeah um very sensible very sensible um and i guess in a lot of cases we hear people say well i can't get this or i can't get that and it's winter winter has a, an absolutely devastating effect on on, on bev so you will see uh, a, a 15 percent range reduction in the very cold weather but that's what we've got that's what we've got to work with Let's crash on. This is a great EV. You know, really love it. Fantastic. Let's uh, keep moving and keep driving. Hey guys. Well, that comes to the end of three days of trials and tribulations with the Maxxis T90. And, and I have to say overall, it's, it's a thumbs up. The vehicle is 
it's quiet-ish. Um, I think once you get used to the whine of the of the motor and the early and the early revs, um, big big fault for me. Windscreen wipers and and um, indicators kind of on the wrong side for a UK operation, but it's only minor. You know, one of the only vehicles that you come across today with a with a, a cable handbrake. I think you know in in 2023 electric handbrakes are, are more of a thing. Um, real world range, you know, 220 is achievable all day. Um, of course, empty. I think you struggle. Once you put a ton in it, I think mean, that that would that would that would drop. Um, and we're going to do we're going to get a container um, set up and put that in, and then see how far we can get with a with a ton of, of, of water in the back of it, which which is probably my old to be able to drive it through the water, which we tried to do on this occasion, uh, as I promised last time. But we will do. I think overall it's a decent a decent a piece, decent piece of equipment. You know, it drives really positively, it pulls really well, as I said, empty, but there's no lack of power. It's instant and there's plenty of it. So I don't I don't foresee the the, the energy really depleting that much with the with the with the weight in it. But we guess we'll see on that what that looks like. Real world for me, really good piece of kit. Um I think the price still for me, it's a bit of a, 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 um, a level against it, with it not being four-wheel drive. It's a two-wheel drive vehicle. It drives like a two-wheel drive vehicle. If you're expecting four-wheel drive from the, the diesel side of the pickups and you're doing four-wheel drive work with it, you have to wait till next year till that product comes out. So I think there's a conversation to have, have over that. Love the key, real quality. It's a decent a decent vehicle. I'm, I'm very pleased with it overall. Um, but some drawbacks. But everything we've got is on our website. Pro Green Team are happy to talk you through all the details of the vehicle so please give us a shout it costs nothing to talk um if you like what we do please subscribe and, and certainly if uh, if you can that'd be fantastic and we look forward to speaking again soon we've got some great stuff coming down the pipe guys take care